What's going on YouTube? Um, so I decided I'm going to try to make more videos here on this channel. So today uh, I'm going to be showing you how I personally weatherproof my RTL SDR uh, diode antenna. This is the uh, stock antenna that it came with. Um, I was using this for an APRS setup and this was my receive end connected to Raspberry Pi. So I had it mounted um, on the uh, picture you see there to the right. Uh, with another antenna that was for the transmit. This is my dog. Anyways, so you take the diode antenna and you'll notice that mine is actually a little, um, it's missing some of the pieces. And that's actually because I sh sawed them off. So that's going to be the first step. Uh, so I'll put the picture of the original there. Um, but this right here is how you want it to look. You'll notice it's kind of sawed off. It doesn't harm any of the pieces um, on the inside, so but it will allow you to fit it uh, within the PVC pipe that we are going to be using. And the PVC pipe we're going to be using uh, can be found at Home Depot. Sorry, the camera's a little blurry, but the most important thing that you want to note is that you get the schedule 200 or the SDR 21 and then schedule 200 21 200 those are the two numbers that you want to uh, pay attention to the reason they're important is because this is the type of PVC pipe that will be the least likely to um, interfere with radio signals it's it's pretty thin so what you want to do is you want to use that diode antenna calculator that I'm going to put in the description to measure the target frequency that you're going to want to um, have your antenna link that. I am using mine for sniffing cell phone signals. Um, so it's up way up there in almost the uh, one gigahertz range. So I needed the smaller antenna. So you'll measure your target antenna and that's kind of what you'll want your PVC pipe cut to. Now if you go to, um, I think it's Home Depot, they'll have the PVC pipe. Uh, they'll also have the bubble wrap that I'm going to be using and the tape. Um, the reason I have bubble wrap and tape, you'll see in a moment, is this is kind of materials I had in my house to work with. And you'll also need a, um, a cap for your PVC pipe. So that cap is literally just going to go right up here at the top. Once we're finished to seal it up, it'll, it'll be watertight so there's no water that will get into it. And the next thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and take your antenna and uh, get that part sewed off. You can also do that at the uh, Home Depot that will saw that off for you. Um, and you'll want to um, wrap bubble wrap or some type of material around it uh, with a capacitor facing down the earth, uh, to the earth. And you will wrap bubble wrap around that and that's going to make it a little tighter once we get it up in this PVC pipe. But the bubble wrap's not going to block the RF signals. So you can go ahead and judge it by putting it in there and seeing kind of how much space you're going to need uh, around it. Um, so you can go ahead and just wrap some bubble wrap around that middle piece just to get it nice and tight and snug in the pipe. And then I usually take some tape, like a piece of tape, and just wrap it around to seal it up. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and take my antenna here. And I'm just going to cut off some of this bubble wrap. We'll say... The scissors are really bad for cutting bubble wrap, but we'll start right here and see what this does for us. In fact, I'm just going to try to rip it off there, and I'm just going to take it, and I'm going to take this um, middle piece out here, see which way is facing down. Pastor's going down this way, so we're going to move our antenna like this. I'm going to put that back on there. going to take that bubble wrap just wrap it around. The reason I use bubble wrap is because you can kind of guesstimate how tight it's going to be and it doesn't have to be for certain. Now I'm going to take some of that tape because it will kind of squish if it's too too much. I'm going to take that tape and I'm just going to wrap it around there keep that bubble wrap on there and that also kind of helps keep the moisture out I guess so once you have that bubble wrap on there 
You're gonna take your PVC antenna, right? And you're just going to insert that whole dongle in there. It should be nice and tight. Should be shouldn't be so tight that it's gonna you know cause you issues. But you'll notice here, uh, once you get to about here, the only way in is to push from the antenna side, and that's just gonna make your antenna go in. So what I do is I actually uh, found something that I can kind of push down in there with, and I'm uh, that's another thing you're gonna need. So you can use a coat hanger. Um, you can use this a uh, variety of things, but I'm using the stem off of one of the tools to my fireplace. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to move it to the right there and I'm just going to push that antenna down in there as far as I can get it. And you should notice like if you tug on the cord it's going to be nice and tight. If you look down in there you don't want to see that the antenna is um, you know uh, retracted like you pushed on it. And once you have that part taken care of the next thing you want to do is just go ahead and slap your cap onto the top of it. So we have uh, a watertight seal pretty much all the way up to the bottom. And this is another part where the bubble wrap actually comes into play. Because now I can just cut off any varying amount of bubble wrap here, tear it off, whatever I need to do. And this time you want a little more. And I can just take it and shove it tight into the bottom of this. Get it real tight in there, and you should create a waterproof seal just like that. Now, at this point, your antenna is ready to mount outside. You can take this and mount it outside. Now, there's a few ways to do that, and um, I use these hose clamps. Uh, the reason it's bigger ones because I already have some antennas mounted out here. But uh, you can definitely use these hose clamps, and I'm just going to go ahead and show you an example of one I already have mounted outside. So I originally had um, this other one mounted as well, but I took it down just to create this video. But you'll see like the normal RG8 antenna I have set up is just taut up with the, the same type PVC pipe, um, the same type setup. Uh, with the hose clamps holding it straight and that kind of just sits outside so it's it'll, it'll work this way um, sorry about the quality of video I haven't yet bought a camera so I'm using my phone anyways that is how you weatherproof your RTL SDR um, antenna diode antenna it, and I've ran this outside for a few months on my APRS setups, there were like hell storms, and it seemed to hold up pretty well. Anyway, anyways, if you guys liked the video, subscribe, rate, and comment.